I'm Beth and this is Ollie. And I'm Michael and this is Aiden. Budget's quite obviously a big thing with me not working, so things like reducing energy consumption and our power bill is a big deal. I've got a home office, uh, I'm a web developer, so yeah, lots of computers and um, storage equipment. It definitely consumes a lot of energy, so. So I guess there's a few tips when you're, when you're in the office and looking at the appliances and what uses energy. Um, the easy way to test whether something uses lots of energy in standby or not is to actually check the plug pack. If it's heavy, it probably means it uses a lot of standby power, even when your computer's turned off. One of the ways we can get a lot more information is through a display. You can get in-home displays, it'll tell you how much electricity your whole house uses. Or you can buy one of these little guys, which will tell us how much electricity do the appliances plugged into it use. I reckon if we tested it, you might find this office doesn't use as much energy as, as you might be worried about. That'd be good. <laughs> and there's other places in your house that you could make big savings. So the pool must be great in summer. Is it heated? Do you use it in winter? Uh, not in winter, it's solar heated. This probably uses quite a lot of energy. And if without a cover, then all that warmth that you've been pumping into it will escape. Yep. So you yep. might want to think about putting a cover over it. Okay. The clear ones, they can actually help heat the pool just by having the cover on the pool itself. Right. What happens the way you've got it set up now is you heat the pool up during the day using the hot roof. Yep. And then the sun goes down and the roof cools off. And if the pump's running, then you're, uh, you're pumping all that water onto the roof and it's cooling off. So yep. if you can close that and just have the water go into the pool, yep. that'll stop it cooling down in the night. Yeah, okay. So this is the twins bedroom. Our main cooling is in the lounge, so uh -huh. this room gets extremely hot. Do you get cool breezes around here very much? Uh, yeah. A really important thing with opening the windows is to make sure that you open windows on both sides of the house okay. so that the air can get in this window and back out to the other side okay, sure. or vice yep. versa. Uh, Beth mentioned how hot it gets in the baby's room. Another reason for that is probably because the sun's often on this wall. Mm -hmm. And so one way you might be able to, uh, to save some energy is to plant some deciduous trees here that uh, in summer would have leaves on them and keep the place nice and shaded. But in winter, the leaves would fall off and still let the sun come through. It was really interesting to see Beth and Michael were already really thinking about how they use energy and where it's going. There were still some really simple things they could do to try and save energy. 